than what I wanted to go, but you know, you really got to think about the recent volumes here, eh? It's, it's just going to get out of hand if we don't do this. Um, but there'll be high spots and there'll be low spots. Layer. I will go through and put in a lot of white around the coastline. Once that dries off, then I'll go over and I'll do turquoise really close into there and clear or um, tinted blue out deep. And then clear, white, clear, turquoise, clear, white. I think it actually way more than the Cove dining table. Even though Cove dining table is about 700 mil longer and uh, 300 wider, or 200 wider, um, this one's got a lot more rock, sand, pumices, all sorts of stuff going on for it. The other thing I have to be very mindful about is um, my little rock fishermen and stuff that are going to have, so I don't want my rock fishermen's head sticking up too high. So I'm going to try to balance that as well. But I'm um, quite happy with the progress so far. Um, I think we're going to get the recent cost down quite a bit. We already maybe, I don't know, I, I, I have to work it out. Maybe about three grand in on resin. Um, but um, we aren't going to be using it very I can just see my clients now thinking, did he just say 30? No, but we took, that's why we're trying to do this. We're trying to get it down as much as we can, keep as much ocean as we possibly can, uh, because that's the theme, it's ocean. Um, this part here, maybe I could have gone a lot lower here, but I think once I've got deep blue, water wash coming up here, a few little effects, a couple little boats or something, Big channels around there, blue coming up over the sandbank, turquoise over these sandbanks, all these low ones 
will be sort of turquoisey washing out there. Some of them will be sunken. Most of this will be sunken. All around there will be sunken. Um, it's supposed to be a volcanic island there, but I'm still in two mines. I might actually just get my grinder in a couple of days and grind a lot of this out uh, and have my lighthouse in here. That's what I'm sort of aiming, uh, picking at, making this uh, the volcanic vent, lava flowing down there, lava coming down there, uh, washing over into there, washing off down the side. Um, I still like the idea of a volcano there, but instead of using um, a big hunk of wood, I might actually just build it up with obsidian and carnelian, so make it look like a big volcanic blob sitting out there. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're just, we're just going with the flow at the moment and uh, seeing how everything's going to pan out. And I'm sure everything's going to pan out fine. Get this uh, top layer of sand sent in. So I think it's going to be quite a long day. Yeah, probably lots of reason. I think we can start climbing up in reason quite now. Oh yeah, right into it. Okay guys, so I've got some uh, flue right here that I've just crushed up with some uh, uh, green fuchsite. Oh, so I'm just gonna put these crystals into this lakey pond area for a different contrast. This is just one of our lakes that are going in this table and um, yeah hopefully we'll be able to get it back right underneath it uh, if not never mind but it's gonna still look pretty cool anyway just put a little bit down on there Let's put the bounce over here well, this is just going to give contrast to our lakes. There's something a little bit different.
Nintendo. Which has been all broken up by the currents rushing through here. It's moved all the sand away and created little um, uh, sand mounts down there. And that's where we're up to, really. Got a little bit of uh, resin being put on the Everson Fushite. And these are like our emeraldy turquoise blue ponds. So whether I'm gonna get lights in this or not, I'm not quite sure. We'll give it a crack. Um, but the, the main thing is to you know, really just get it looking really stunning. And um, personally, I think we're well on our way. Once we start putting in the sharks, dolphins, divers, boats, kayakers, lots of things that keep people interested. This is going to turn out to be, well, I think I could honestly say this would be the best ocean table I've ever built. Yeah, I'm really loving how it's all coming together at the moment. Okay guys, let us know your thoughts. Love hearing your comments. And um, yeah, that's all good. <laughs>